Good morning, all you cool cats, neighbors, friends, family. How you doing? Um, this morning, it is about 8.30, and I got the kids up and out the door for school, and I decided to make a breakfast video. Um, don't be scared. It's, uh, it's freaking phenomenal. It's delicious. Um, the name of this dish is Fired Up Tofu Scramble. Don't be all crazy about tofu, okay? Tofu is exactly like white rice or mashed potatoes or pasta without anything on it. It doesn't have that much of a flavor and anything you cook with it or you cook it with, it takes on that flavor. So. Today we're making it into a scrambled egg. Uh, most vegans uh, use tofu for that. I also have in my air fryer right now a cut up one red potato in cubes that I'm making home fries with. All I did, cut them into cubes, stick it in the air fryer. Um, I think it's 400 for uh, 15 minutes just to get them all nice and crispy and golden brown. And that's going to be the side. I also have an amazing drink um, because what's drinking with Darlene without a drink? Um, I have a grapefruit mimosa, except this isn't your just average grapefruit. So it's a, it's a healthier twist on it and it's really good. So. Um, maybe we'll start with that first. So we have that to sip on while we're watching the scramble. I think it, I think that's the most ideal way to go. <laughs> so what I have over here is this is a juice press, the most phenomenal thing ever. Um, I have had this, I think for about two years now, and it is the most greatest thing to make your drinks with. I am not a juice person. I feel like juice, in a container is concentrated it's full of sugar and crap so i start squeezing my own juice and the only time i put juice in anything usually is my drinks my vodka drinks so um i started doing this about two years ago my brother let me on to it actually thanks dane <laughs> um so i'm gonna take my a wine glass won't fit underneath this press. So I'm going to take uh, my grapefruit, if I can find a good one in here. You can also do it with oranges and make a regular orange mimosa. Um, I'm, what I'm doing is just kind of squeezing this a little bit to get some of the juices going in there. I'm going to stop this air fryer um, to get some of the juices going in here. And let me see if I can move this over so you guys can see it better. I'm gonna move this right here. I have champagne chilled in the fridge. So, and I'm gonna grab it, another glass here just so uh, you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, will that fit? That fits, okay. Now, I am going to cut my grapefruit this way, because it's got to be squeezed. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to squeeze the grapefruit first, and then I will add the champagne. Okay, so you just stick it on there, and you press. Good press there. And as you can see, you get quite a bit of juice out of this. I'm going to show you closer in a second here. Um, Squeeze it like you mean it. I, so as you can see, there's a lot of pulp here still on the grapefruit. I love pulp. I like my drinks like a meal. Again, I'm going to say it. So I tend to scrape some of this pulp out in the end and put it in there with, um, with my drink. So, and usually... You know, about one grapefruit does it. If you need more, you can obviously do more. There we go. Good squeeze there. And 
Beautiful. So I'm going to show you roughly how much that's off of one grapefruit, guys. And this is so much better for you than buying grapefruit juice in the store. Um, preferably to get organic grapefruits. If you can't, you know, whatever. So I'm going to put that right there. Let me grab my champagne out of the fridge. Okay. Let me put this where you guys can see it. Let's do it right there. I like a lot of, you know me, I like to fill up my glass quite a bit here. I would use a champagne flute or a smaller wine glass, but the only wine glass I have is actually right here and I just used it. I just used it last night, so <laughs> I, uh, that is something I need to invest in. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some mint. These are the herbs I like to add to it. You don't need to, you can add whatever you want. I'm adding mint and a little bit of fresh basil. And then I'm gonna give it a quick stir. A quick stir here just to get those. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna put some fresh blueberries. We're gonna do blueberries. I know this is very similar to the drink I made, the vodka drink I made. Um, this one I'm adding a little bit of mint to though. Okay. And here it is. Probably, I'm gonna add some pulp. I'm just scooping it out with my fingers. And your best bet, like I said, is to put this in a champagne flute. I, um, I just don't have any, so. I don't mind doing things a little country over here with a mason jar. You know, all right, and here we go. Our grapefruit mimosa, um, mint basil, grapefruit pulp, fresh squeezed grapefruit juice, a ton of champagne, and blueberries. Salute, guys. That is so good. Oh man, that's good. That's real good. Mmm. Oh. I want to get day drunk. We should totally do this. Mmm. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't because I have appointments <laughs> today. Okay, so with the tofu scramble, the reason I called it fired up tofu scramble is because it is zippy. It's, um, it's pretty spicy. And like I said, tofu takes on the flavor of what you cook it with. So I am getting a crap ton of onions, red onion. I prefer red onion. You can use whatever you want. Uh, yellow doesn't matter. Okay. Um, I'm doing zucchini. Another thing you can add whatever vegetables you want to this. Um, I prefer all of these that I am adding. So I'm chopping the zucchini into cubes, um, bite size, I guess you want to call it. How was everybody's weekend? Was it pretty good? You having a good, uh, good weekend up there in New York? Or I have a couple relatives here in, well, in South Carolina and Florida. How's everybody's? Weekend went. How is everybody's week gonna go? You know, you just gotta stay positive. I am a firm believer and we make the day what it is. The way you react to certain situations. Yes, I am a life coach as well. <laughs> the way you react to certain situations makes your day. So I try to install that in my kids and my boys too. 
they are really good actually they are phenomenal with um keeping a positive attitude and um i really couldn't have asked for better kids okay well this is sauteing enough a little bit i'm gonna turn it up just a tad i'm adding my mushrooms um you can use bellas also these are just uh white mushrooms chopped white mushrooms okay and last but not least my jalapeno i like it spicy so i'm keeping the seeds in there jalapenos um when you take the seeds out it's not as spicy so um it all depends on how much heat you want to add i like to turn up the heat a lot <laughs> i'm stupid i know okay so we're going to saute this in here. Um, I really wish I had some of my friends here. Um, I'm missing, I'm missing everybody a lot. I really am these past couple days. Um, I'm hoping that you guys can come visit me and stay for a couple days. Um, I do love it here though. I have no desire to go back to New York um, just to see my my family and friends um, and possibly to do hair customers again, people that I know are very devout to me. Um, makes me want to drink. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Mm. I haven't had champagne in a while, guys. Okay, this is your tofu. I, this is about a third, a quarter. This is about a quarter of the block. And that's really all you need. So I have it with paper towel. What you do is you just press it. Get as much moisture as you can out of it before you start crumbling it into your veggies. So tofu is usually um, somewhat of a base for vegan Alfredo sauce. Um, normally you would keep the, the water in it though. Um, uh, you can use it as a ricotta in a lasagna. I might maybe do that one day as a video for you guys. Um, there is a lot of different uses for, for tofu. Um, and like I said, it takes on the flavor of whatever you're eating. So you don't need to go breeding chickens for eggs that are little baby chicks in there, little embryos. <laughs> um, all you gotta do is take freaking plant-based tofu. Um, good for the environment. You know, I'm gonna start putting my two cents in here. Good for the environment. Um, no animal cruelty, no supporting factory farms. And it um, is healthier for you. I said that I have very high cholesterol. Um, I think since I came to Carolina and I've been doing vegan, I, I have a feeling that it's going down. Um, but my thyroid is a huge issue where it is virtually impossible to lose weight um, no matter what I do. And um, it's very low. I think I said on one video I have high thyroid. It's the complete opposite. It's very low. Um, I have hypothyroidism. And anybody that has that, and I know there's a lot of people that do, um, it is an autoimmune disease and it attacks your body. So I try my hardest to watch everything I'm eating. And I am not one to work out. I'm completely honest with this. I hate working out. Hate it with a passion. I don't. I just don't like it. Um, I prefer to do other things like sit on my deck and drink. So, um, unfortunately, you know, I feel like I stay somewhat active with the kids and with um, having a two-story house now going up and down my stairs. And we have we live on a dead end, so, you know, we walk down to the dead end and back quite a bit with the kids. Um, I'm crumbling this into my scramble here. Not too small, you know, keep them somewhat bigger. The sizes on this, you want to make it look like it's scrambled eggs without the egg. 
Um, but so eating is a huge part of, and I feel like it's my addiction. Eating and food is my addiction. Um, I will give up anything in regards to food. I will go, all my friends know that I will go on an extreme crazy diet and give up something just if it means that that's what I got to do or take some magic pill and of course, you know, that doesn't work. So I've started watching crazy documentaries. I just put some curry in this, a little bit of curry. I'm putting garlic powder, onion powder, and I love this stuff. Everything bagel um, seasoning. I put a good amount of this in there. Um, sea salt. I do coarse, but you can do whatever you want. Pink Himalayan sea salt. That's what I have in there. Um, okay. This is where we're getting our coloring from. Turmeric. I'm not adding a ton of it, but it makes this tofu look like a scrambled egg. And it's crazy how your mind makes you think, hey, I'm eating a scrambled egg because it looks like a scrambled egg. No joke. So um, if you don't add it, it looks like egg whites. Okay. And okay, fire me up. We're doing cayenne. And I already added the jalapeno. So we're going to get this baby nice and hot. Okay. Beautiful. Um, my stupid sexual innuendos. This is not appropriate for children to be watching. <laughs> um, I get that from my husband. I feel like he's, he's definitely uh, the one that's 24 seven making, uh, making everything into something sexual. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, this looks so good. This literally looks like scrambled eggs, uh, a scrambled egg. You can add any vegetables you want to this, broccoli, um, carrots, if you want carrots in there. Um, yesterday I added uh, garbanzo beans to it, ch chichi beans, chickpeas. Um, okay. And last but not least, I am putting in some baby kale. Um, I, you know, you can put spinach if you want. You can put um, escarole. If you do escarole, do that saute that up with the rest of your vegetables because it is, a, it is a little more fibrous. So, okay. Oh, man. I'm excited for this. I am. Guys, this is the highlight of my day, by the way, is talking to you guys and uh, feeling this connection with you, even if it is for a couple seconds while I'm cooking or drinking. I do feel like I'm drinking with all my friends in New York. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I'm going to tilt this up a little bit, see if I can do this without it falling over completely. Um, I do. I appreciate you guys watching my videos and, um, commenting and letting me know that you're, you guys are there watching me and cooking with me and having a drink with me, you know. Um, I think that maybe at the end of summer, I'll take a trip back home. I don't know, but, oh shit, oh shoot, I got I should probably stir this up before I burn my, see, I get all sentimental and talking and forget about what I'm doing. <laughs> Good God. I'm surprised my children are still alive. <laughs> okay, and that is it. That is it for our scramble. I think I added everything I wanted to. I am actually, I'm sorry, that's not it. I'm going to add one more thing. I like. I'm going to add one more thing. This is not the cleanest thing when you're doing vegan or when you're trying to be vegan. Um, I try to do clean, no oil, no refined sugar, um, obviously plant-based. Okay, so this is cheddar shreds. This, I feel like, is better than the other vegan cheeses that I've had. 
I'm going to show it to you. And it is so freaking good. It's like cheese. It tastes like cheese on your scrambled eggs. Or I put it on my cheese, uh, my cheeseburger, my, my, uh, my blackened burgers. Um, to give you that satisfaction of that you're not depriving yourself of everything, but yet you're not eating um, cow pus and um, baby calf growth food. This is uh, like you're literally having cheese that is plant-based on your scramble. The thing is with this is that it does, it's made with coconut oil. So there is, um, there's that, you know, so there is the oil in this. Um, but I like having a little bit of creaminess to my dish. And that's it, guys. I'm going to take a picture of this once it's all happy and melty and good with my um, air fried home fries <laughs> um, and post it with this video. I appreciate you guys so much. You have no idea. And I love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you in a couple days. Who knows? Maybe I'll make another video tonight. I don't know. I don't know. But salute. Cheers. I miss you guys. Love you. This is freaking good. You guys should make this. I'm telling you. You should make it. Bye.